Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this video is the first of a new playlist here on the channel where I document the upgrading of the off-grid solar power equipment and my camper. I recently bought this camper used and it came from the factory with a very basic solar power system installed, but it has some components in it that handicap the efficiency of the system, so we're going to start to upgrade this system to get the most out of it so I can eventually install some amateur radio equipment in the camper as well and run everything effectively. The camper came with one solar panel on the roof, a flexible panel that's glued to the roof, and there's not much real estate up there to add a second panel. The other issue is I can't orient the panel to get the most performance out of it by tipping it into the sunlight because it's mounted to the roof. For a battery, right now I have a flooded lead acid battery. Eventually I want to upgrade to a lithium battery or two when I can afford it and find the right product. What I can do now to increase the efficiency of this system is upgrade the charge controller and that's what I've done. I removed the factory charge controller which was a old school style PWM or pulse width modulation charge controller and I put some tape over the the manufacturer's name and installed a Morningstar MPPT charge controller which will give me a 20 to 25 percent improvement in efficiency of charging the batteries with this charge controller. For those of you who follow my channel and saw my off-grid solar power project for the retreat that's also using a Morningstar charge controller so I love Morningstar products because they work well they last forever and they got great technical support. So the first step in this upgrade was to remove the old charge controller which left a very large hole in this cabinet and the replacement charge controller didn't fit in that hole the same way. So I 3D printed a plate or a mount that would align with the holes from the previous charge controller and give me new mounting holes for the Morningstar charge controller. Then I just went ahead and made all the connections. Now this little tab here, I just have that there so I don't lose it. That's the strap across these terminals based on the battery configuration you're using and the chemistry. So this charge controller supports sealed batteries, gel batteries, flooded batteries, and AGM batteries. The jumper that I pointed to is removed if you have a flooded battery in the system, which is what I have now. Now the plan in the future is to replace my flooded lead acid battery on the tongue with lithium batteries. This is a small camper so I got to be mindful of the gross vehicle weight and the tongue weight because I'm pulling it with an SUV. So I need to go with the lithium batteries if I want to increase my storage capacity for power. When I find the right batteries and have the money, I'll remove this charge controller here and use this in my ham radio kit and then I'll be installing this ProStar MPPT charge controller. Now this charge controller I think has seven default charging parameters for the different chemistries of batteries that are common out there. But there's also an option as a custom field. If you get a battery that doesn't align or match up with the defaults, you can program in your own custom charging parameter for a specific battery manufacturer and requirements. So that's why I really like this ProStar MPPT controller. Now in the future I want to upgrade the batteries and maybe come up with a portable ground mounted solar array that I can set up at a campsite, face those panels towards the sunlight, and collect more power. So this is the first video for the upgrade playlist on the camper solar power system. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a another charge controller video. Thanks for watching, everybody.